Hello everyone, happy holidays. Today I'm going to show you how to make a citrus glazed holiday ham. I have about a nine and a half pound ham. This is a hickory smoked, so it's already cooked. It's spiral sliced, which will really help when you serve your ham to people and it's already cut. And also it has a bone in the ham, so it's going to offer some delicious flavor throughout the ham. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. I've got two kind of steps to make this ham. There's only five ingredients here that we're going to be using. Two of them are going to happen in the first step, and then all five will happen in the second step. So you generally find a lot of these hams during the holiday season, and they come with this mesh that you could just cut right off, which we're going to do right here. And then you can just discard that. And then you have this foil. So we're going to take that off. It comes with all of these packets of marinade already and glazes, so, but we're not going to be using that. I find it a little too strong for the hams that we use. So we're going to discard this and we're going to make our own glaze. Now we got the plastic that the ham is sealed in. So we're going to take that off and then I'm going to place it into a baking pan. I have a Coke and brown sugar, and that is pretty much famous when I was growing up in my house. Every year, that's what we had. And when I met my husband, things always changed when I met my husband. <laughs> he loves the bone-in hams. We came up with different ways to make the bone-in ham really flavorful. And I also have out there a pineapple ham that has the cherries throughout the pineapples rings. So what we're going to do is find where it's sliced, and you can see the slices right here. So you want the sliced end of the ham upside down in your pan. Now I'm just using a throwaway baking pan here because it's pretty big. All right. So this is the side that we want to show during presentation. So what we're going to do is put that on the bottom. And you want to do that because if you cook it like this, face up, the ham will start curling and then it won't be such a really nice presentation because you'll have curled up ham and you don't want that. So we're going to lay it upside down. We're going to be glazing the ham twice. Now the first time is when it goes in the oven and it bakes for several hours. The second time is when it comes out of the oven and we prepare the second, which is going to have five different ingredients in it, but it's going to be really easy to put together. Since this is a citrus glazed holiday ham, we're using oranges. This smells so good. I'm going to cut these in half. I'm just going to take a lemon lime squeezer here and go to the lemon side of it and I'm just going to put my orange in there, the half of an orange. And we're going to squeeze this over a measuring cup. I want about a quarter cup of orange juice for this part of the ham right now. Now once I squeeze out a lot of the juice from the orange, I'm just going to throw it into the pan with the ham and then just keep squeezing. It might take about two oranges. All right, we have a quarter cup here. Okay, we're going to add two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. We're just going to whisk this together. We're going to pour this all over the ham. Now, the ham on this part right here, that's where all the slicing is too. So what we're going to do is try to aim to get into those slices there. So pour slow. Okay, so what we're going to do, let me wash my hands off here. 
going to take some foil and we want to cover this very tightly with the foil. One right in the center. And one on the long end. I've got my oven preheating at 425 degrees. We're going to bake this in the oven for about 12 to 15 minutes per pound. And since this is a nine and a half pound ham, it's going to be about an hour, 45 minutes to two hours. You really want to make sure that it is heated through all the way to the bone of this ham. Before the ham is done, we're going to make that second glaze and it's got five ingredients and it's going to be very tasty. If you're liking my ham recipe, make sure that you give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. So that way you'll always know when my shows are posted. I have the ham out of the oven now. It's been an hour and 45 minutes. So what I'm going to do is make that second glaze. So in a medium saucepan, we're just going to put it over medium heat. We're going to add half a cup of some orange juice. Or you can squeeze enough oranges to get half a cup. We're going to add that to our medium saucepan. We're going to add half a cup of brown sugar. I'm just using a quarter cup here, so I'm going to go in twice. We're going to go in with two tablespoons of Dijon mustard. We're going to give it some lovely holiday flavor with a quarter teaspoon of ground ginger. We're going to start whisking this together. It smells good. Now here's a trick to make your sauce nice and glossy. We're going to add in two teaspoons of cornstarch. This will help thicken it up also. So we're going to whisk this until we get it nice and smooth and heated through. All right, you see that? Very glossy. Okay, remember that we had the oven on 425 degrees. We're going to lower that down to 325. Go ahead and take the foil off of our ham. Just be very careful. Now, if you want to do this side, you can leave it on this side here. I'm going to flip it over. Now, see how that fans right out like that? Perfect. We're going to take our delicious glaze that we just made. Now, I'm going to pour it all over the ham. Yeah, just like that. So as you're pouring, open up the slices. And just kind of go in between the ham slices. We're going to place this back in the oven for about 15 or 20 minutes just to get that glaze nice and sticky on the ham and in between those slices. All right, here's my ham. Look how delicious that looks. Look at all the slices. All uniform, nice and glazed. Mmm. Yeah. Y'all ready for me to go in for a piece? Who wouldn't want that on their holiday table? Okay, I had to push everybody out of the way. <laughs> they were pulling this ham apart. Here's my bite. Mmm. That's the perfect holiday ham for any occasion. 
that citrus flavor just comes right through. It is so delicious. It's a light flavor. It's not like really um, spicy, like, you know, you get those spices in there. So if you're looking for something that really a light flavor, this one's it. And it's still got that brown sugar in there. There's ginger in there to kind of give it that holiday flavor. Okay, y'all, let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up on this one. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification. That way you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. You can find my recipes at katherinesplates.com. Guys, I will see you on my next episode. Happy holidays!